So he's still your attorney then? I guess. Okay. All right. Well, then that's the answer we've got for that. All right. So um, I'm going to try to get a hold of Mr. Melnick and see if he can be here with us this afternoon because um, some of what I suspect you recall when you were brought into Judge Glanville's chambers with Ms. Bumpus and a couple of the people from the state. And um, there was a discussion that Ms. Bumpus and Ms. Hilton and Judge Glanville had with you. You asked some questions. They gave you some information. As you all seen previously, Lil Woody has been on his campaign. Now he's back in court and he is about to get pressed by the new judge. Let's see how this is about to play out. We already know Lil Woody. Hey, there's no telling what this man is about to say. Shout out to your boy, Young Thug. Hope he makes it through all this and let's see how this is about to play out. Let's go, baby. All right, good morning, Mr. Copeland. I'm Judge Whitaker. I think you've been before me before in unrelated matters. But Hi. I'm, I'm the judge taking over this case now. So go ahead and have a seat. Um, what I want to ask you right now, I know that you um, have been given um, immunity with regard to your testimony. Um, and there had been, at some point, you didn't want to testify. At some point, you did want to testify. The first question I have for you. I know one to testify. Okay. The, the first, well, right, want to is maybe the wrong term. But my question for you right now is, do you have an attorney at all? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know whether you have an attorney. I would think that would be a no then if you don't know whether no, you're I was talking to Melanie, but. Melnick? Yes. Okay. Um, didn't you, didn't he ask to be relieved as your attorney and did you sign something saying that's okay, you can get out of this? I don't, I don't. You don't remember? Okay. Yo, at this point, at this point, I don't see a strong case, but somebody's got to pay for something, right? A lot of tax dollars being spent here. I say time served. How long he's been in jail for already? He's been over what? Over four years, five years? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Does anybody know whether that actually occurred? I don't believe it occurred. I, okay. I believe that Miss Bumpus... Um, I know she was stand-in. She, she was stand-in, and, and I believe something was said on the record to the effect that Miss Bumpus was was relieved. But Yeah, I know I she was. There but... was nothing about Mr. Melnick, to my knowledge. Okay. Maybe we... There was. Ms. Ms. Bumpus actually said um, yesterday, I believe, during her testimony that Mr. Melnick had directed her to tell Mr. Copeland that uh, he could either exercise his, you know. Well, he could choose not thing, to testify. Right. Or if he chose to testify, according to Ms. Bumpus. Yeah, I remember she said there's this paper I'm supposed to get him to sign. I'm trying to figure out whether it got signed. So I never got Mr. Nelly off my case. Okay, so he's still your attorney then? I guess. Okay, all right. Well, then that's the answer we've got for that. <laughs> all right, so um, I'm going to try to get a hold of Mr. Melnick and see if he can be here with us this afternoon because um, some of what I suspect you recall when you were brought into Judge Glanville's chambers with Ms. Bumpus and a couple of the people from the state. And um, there was a discussion that Ms. Bumpus and Ms. Hilton and Judge Glanville had with you. You asked some questions. They gave you some information. Some of that information was not actually factually correct. Um, and I want to make sure that you have the opportunity understanding what it is that the immunity order means, understanding what the potential consequences are if you do testify or if you don't. We're basically going to kind of start over and so do that over. Testify, would, huh? So if I don't testify, how long are you going to hold me in jail? So, I mean, that's still an issue that um, you can be held in jail through the end of this trial, but I'd rather have... Mm. So that's like, so you you still forcing him to testify then? What if he doesn't want to testify? You understand what I mean? I believe he's the golden ticket right now. If he pulls through with the government, they got a strong case. But 
At this point, it sounds like they just want him to say what they want to hear. I have Mr. Melnick here to uh, advise you about the potential drawbacks of and benefits of what, if there are any, this of any of right your... Hmm? To the end of this trial? Yes. Not the other people? Not as far as I believe, but the state, what, did you want to do some further research on that? Yes, just to advise the court okay. of... Okay, so... I just wanted to know, first off, do you have an attorney? Because if you do have an attorney, then your attorney may have some information, advice, and research for me about that. So I want to make sure that I tell you the correct thing about that, okay? So um, we're going to take a lunch break in a little while, and why don't we plan to have you back here on standby at least. Um, I don't know who was in communication, but we need to reach out to Mr. Melnick, see what his availability is. Um, so just be on standby in case I need you here, like at, at two or three this afternoon. Two or three? Yeah. <laughs> Cause we're about to take a lunch break before too much longer. Um, so you're, you're okay to leave for the next couple of hours, but stay where the whomever reached out. Um, from the state can reach you to let you know whether you need to be back here this afternoon this or potentially tomorrow instead, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, no. I mean, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. This case looked like it's about to crumble. They need to just let everybody go and whoever they got and they kept, may, may they learn a lesson. You understand? But as far as this goal right here, this is a super shit show. Super duper. Only thing missing is the cape. Make sure you go in the comments, run it up, flood it up. Let me know your whole thoughts on this right here. Don't forget, if you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell.